The song requests people made of me a couple of videos ago really got straight to the point of what my channel is about, but I don't know if people were aware of it. The songs about people being saved or nations being saved uh, don't live up to the promises of the principles of the religions and the nations in terms of constitutional and spiritual protection. These songs, the national anthems or Amazing Grace and things like that, are examples of the song living on after the singer's dead and being adopted in a particular way only after the songwriter, I should say, is dead. The people who wrote national anthems have them adopted by having their rights being violated. A person has, may might have right to copyright as long as they live, but then the nation just waits until that person is dead and has no more claim to the rights of the song and then adopts it, makes it public domain and lets other people make huge amounts of money on it and have it broadcast to audiences par, far beyond anything what a person a century or two ago could possibly have imagined. So the American, British and Canadian national anthems are all much about the same thing. They're about violating the very principles uh, upon which their founding religions and constitutions are based and that we should, I think, have a right to life, first and foremost, and inviolably, inviolably. Now, instead, we have things about the flag being still there, the queen being saved, and the God keeping the land. And so all about these things that the nation endures, but the person doesn't. And we symbolize that every time people get up and sing these songs. Ironically, I think they'd be quite funny and parodyable as things people would sing at a zombie walk or a zombie march because some of them would work quite well if you're groaning and covered in gore and dragging one foot. But uh, as things that I want to use to promote examples of, of you know, progress toward the right to live and other human and property rights, uh, these hymns and, and national anthems are not the best selections at all. In fact, they're about as far away as possible as you can get from such ideals. Twilight is a word taken straight out of the American National Anthem. And it's about marrying the church and the state, about forming a union with them. And it's based on an old British drinking song, the Star Spangled Banner is. So it takes the feelings that people have toward each other when they're in part of a society devoted to wine, women, and song and redirects all of those toward the state. Canada's national anthem is perhaps even more so in that way. It starts out with moaning and then moves on to glowing and rising, watching each other rise and standing on guard until the final climactic note of the song. It's a redirection of, of, of human emotion toward something that is not human and does not defend the rights of humans as I see it in terms of their fundamental right to exist. In England you have the Queen as the same sort of thing, much like a, a version of Tangled. Actually, Tangled is all about saving the Queen at the expense of everybody else, having the means of, of eternal life promoted by singing being taken out of the public domain and redirected toward the monarch. So all these things have to do with not allowing the original writer of the song to get the benefits of being recognized by the state as having written its national song because so much time goes by between the time when the singer writes the song and the time when it's actually recognized and has all this potential to be viewed by millions upon millions of people and, and honored and so on. But the fundamental message of these songs is that the, the state and its symbols like the flag and the land and so on endure while the individual doesn't, and that's the exact opposite of what I'm trying to say with my channel.